it's Matthew again. This is uh, one of the most important things, I think, um, in terms of actual losing weight, doing fat loss, um, in terms of um, getting it right, is uh, sugar. Um, now, the, why the reason why I mention this is because sugar is the most addictive thing in the world. Um, and now if you can get rid of well, or cut down sugar by a, you know, a large amount, um, what you'll find is your cravings will go anyway. So, for example, if you do exercise and this kind of thing, um, what you'll find is your blood sugar levels will go down naturally anyway. And uh, the, the onset of get, having sugar cravings will reduce. Um, but the reason why I'm talking about sugar, um, because there's, there's actually a program that's been on recently that I've watched, and um, it's kind of made me think about, you know, how the importance of sugar and how addictive it is. I mean, you think of all these different fast food restaurants and all these other places that, you know, sweets and all these kind of things that all these places have put sugar into them. Um, and, you know, you just think how much sugar is in something as well. Like, for example, you know, McDonald's Coke is probably, uh, you know, the thing that's probably about that tall is probably about 50 grams of sugar, which to me is ridiculous. And for most people, that's half the daily recommended sugar intake in one drink, which for me is is pretty ridiculous. Um, I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, and... You know, when, when I when I see people drink these things, sometimes it just it, it makes me you know gag. Sometimes it's just ridiculous how much sugar is in one of these things. You know, and you know if you have a, a bag of sugar and you put it next to that, and you make people realise just how much sugar is in these things, then you won't drink it or you won't eat it. I mean, for example, as well, um, I think one biscuit is about five or six grams of sugar, which doesn't seem like a lot but it is when you think about it because you know as I say you put that against a biscuit and you look at the the sugar and the biscuit it's going to be pretty 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 big for one biscuit um now uh, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I, I want to kind of get across to you guys the the kind of addictive quality of sugar and why it can be so addictive um because I've you know I've experienced it myself, you know, I've, I've seen other people that have been addicted to sugar and it's not very nice. Um, and to be honest with you, it's one of those things that has been the devil's curse that's been created, especially in the past 50 years or so. I mean, the obesity epidemic, epidemic these days has been pretty dramatic. I mean, do you think in the 1950s, 1960s, I think it was about 20, 25% of people were you know, overweight and now it's close to 60, 65, even 70 percent which is you know two thirds of us now which you know it's not right you know it's, it's got something's got to be done about it um, and you know I because I feel really strongly about this and because I work with people on a daily basis that want to get results or want to do this want to do that but the main restriction of this is sugar because you can even find sugar in alcohol these days you know not in a pure form, but in some kind of other form, you know, you can find it in there. And to be honest with you, it's it's just everywhere these days. I mean, it's even in things that you don't even expect a bit for it to be in. Um, and I think as well, like, in terms of, um, I don't know if you guys know this already, um, but sweeteners actually, um, are sh obviously sweeteners are sugar, but what sweeteners are is they can actually cause depression. Um, there's been a study that's been done um, whereby people have had sweeteners in, say, like tea and <coughs> coffee and this kind of thing. And what's happened is they've actually, over time, you know, probably over a few months or a year or whatever it is, they've gained depression out of it. And I want to just warn you guys now, stay away from sweeteners, you know, just do not have them. It's, again, it's even it's probably even worse than sugar because obviously sugar can, can give you that 30-minute rush of, high energy and go right back down again um, which is not good obviously if you want to lose weight or do this or do that because it's just going to make your energy levels go down as quick you know very quickly so it's very um, it's very important you guys kind of understand that sugar is very addictive and you probably you know you, you all know this already but I just wanted to re-emphasize the point because some people don't realize just how much sugar is in some of these things and 
you know, what I'd actually encourage you guys to do is um, look, in, look at these packages and see how much sugar is in them and actually get like um, a bag of sugar and pour it into like a measuring cup or something and just see how much sugar is in there and you'll realise how much of that is going into your body and then you, know, you hopefully will change your perception on how you look at sugar and how you eat it because I think at the end of the day most people don't are not educated on it which is not their fault you know that's society and the way it's being portrayed by the media and everything else but I think if you kind of look at it from the point of view of measuring it out from one thing to another and you look at how much sugar is in that in that product then I can guarantee you you will change you know not only yourself but you will change the rate of results you get because most people fail because of sugar in my opinion I mean as I say it's one of those really awkward things that you can't get away from it's in everything these days and it's really it's really frustrating for people that really want to get results um, but obviously are addicted to these kind of things I mean as well just one more thing before I finish um, you know there's uh, things called e-numbers in these especially in sweets or additives which have been added to it to kind of get make you more addicted to these things I mean you can think you usually find these things in uh, sweets and cakes and all these kind of things this is why people are very addicted to this kind of thing because they cannot whatever they do especially very overweight people it's extremely hard for them to do it and it's you know I know how it feels it's really it's really frustrating at times and you just feel like what what do I do you know and it's, it's, it's really bad at the moment so I just wanted to kind of make this video to reaffirm that point and kind of get my point and my opinion across on it because I feel strongly about this because I work as I say I work with people like this on a daily basis and it really does get to me sometimes all right guys thank you very much for listening I'll uh, provide, provide you more videos soon okay thank you